Hey everyone, in this video we are going to find out what are NPM and NPX and uh, what's the difference between the two. I'm also going to show you a few use cases that I'm using on a daily basis to make my development job a lot easier. So if you want to know more about NPM and NPX and uh, how to work faster and smarter with them, this video is for you. If you however prefer a written guide, I got you covered. You can find a link to the article in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first we must understand what is NPM and uh, what we can do with it. NPM is a couple of things. First and foremost, it is an online repository for the publishing of open source Node.js projects. Second, it is a command line interface tool that uh, aids you in installation, version and dependency management of those packages. There are hundreds of thousands of Node.js libraries and applications on NPM and many more are added every day. NPM by itself doesn't run any package. So if you want to run a package using NPM, you must specify the package in your package.json file. When executables are installed via NPM packages, NPM can create two kinds of links to them. The local installations have links created at node modules bin directory, while the global installations have links created from global bin directory, for example, USR local bin on Linux or AppData NPM on Windows. To execute a package with NPM, you have two options. The first and the most cumbersome is to type the local path of the package you want to run. In my case, that would be node modules bin react scripts start. This package that is installed when you get the create react app project will uh, create a local environment for you. And as you can see, here's a project. The second option and the most used one is to run a locally installed package by adding it to your package.json file in the scripts object. As you can see, I already have it right here and uh, now I can run npm run start and uh, it will give us the same output. It will run the server and it will open uh, the local host website for us. As you might have noticed already, running a package with plain npm requires quite a bit of ceremony. Maybe sometimes you'd want to take a look at a specific package and uh, try some commands, but you cannot do that without installing the dependencies in your local node modules folder. Luckily, this is where npx comes in handy. Let's have a look. Since version 5.2.0, npx is pre-bundled with npm, so it's pretty much a standard nowadays. NPX is also a command line interface tool whose purpose is to make it easy to install and manage dependencies hosted in NPM registry. It is now very easy to run any sort of Node.js based executables that you would normally install via NPM. You can run reach NPX command to see if it's already installed for a current NPM version. If not, you can install it by running npm install g npx. Once you make sure you have it installed, let's see a few use cases that make npx extremely useful. If you want to execute a local install package, all you need to do is type npx your package name. I'm going to run the exact same package from a few moments ago, which is uh, the React script start um, package, and uh, npx will check whether command or uh, package exists in the path variable or in the local project binaries and uh, it will execute it. As you can see, it works just as if I were running the npm run command, it started the local server and opened up the React project. Another major advantage is the ability to execute tools from npm packages without having to install them globally. Let's test this out by uh, running npx cal say wow. Perfect. npx just ran a script without installing it on my machine. 
this is awesome because sometimes you just want to use some CLI tools but uh, you don't want to install them globally just to test them out. This means you can save some disk space and uh, simply run them only when you need them. This also means your global variables will be less polluted. We can also run code directly from GitHub. You can use npx to run any GitHub GIS and repositories. Let's focus on executing a GitHub GIS because it's easier to create one. I'm going to use a GIS that uh, I've created beforehand. But if you want to run your own script, make sure it has a main.js file and the package a JSON. After you've set up the files, all you have to do is run the npx with the link to that GIS. Mine is this one, I'm going to run it. It might take a second. Awesome! The GitHub script was executed in a matter of seconds. Make sure you carefully read any script before you execute it to avoid serious problems that can occur due to malicious code. One final cool feature I want to share today is testing different package versions. NPX makes it extremely easy to test different versions of a Node.js package or module. To test this awesome feature, we're going to locally install Create React App Package and uh, test out an upcoming version. First, let's find out the list tags of the project we're going to install. Run npm v create react app. These tags provide aliases for version numbers, which uh, makes it so much easier to type. Let's use npx to try out the canary this tag of create react app, which will create the app inside the sandbox directory. Type npx create react app at canary sandbox. npx will temporarily install the canary version of create react app, and then it will execute to scaffold the app and install its dependencies. I will speed this up to save us some time. Once installed, we can navigate to the app and then start it with npm start or yarn start. Alright, so as you can see, it will automatically open the React app in your default browser window like we are used to and now we have an app that runs on the canary version of create react app package all right guys that was it for today in this video we found out a bit about npm and npx and how we can use npx to help us avoid versioning dependency issues and installing unnecessary packages that we just want to try out We've seen that npx also provides a clear and easy way of executing packages, commands, modules, and even GitHub keys and repositories. If you haven't used npx before, now is a good time to start. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I was Carol, and I'll see you next time.